So Mike, after the phone interview, uh, the candidates will hope that they will pass and come and meet face-to-face -face interview. So my question is, once candidates come with the face-to-face -face interview, is the preparation should be the same or they should be digging more about the company culture or about the company? And what question at that stage they should ask, which is different than the phone interview you mentioned in the previous video? Yeah, the in-person interview is um, is certainly something that requires uh, preparation. No, no different than the phone interview, but uh, I think the questions uh, may change uh, from the initial phone screen. Um, you know, it's becoming more and more common to ask behavioral-based um, questions, uh, and that can be a challenge for people because you know you're put in a spot to talk about your previous experience, uh, and sometimes uh, with lack of preparation. Uh, you almost have that awkward uh, silence or you almost have to take a moment to kind of regroup and kind of think about it. So I always, um, I always uh, tell many of my candidates uh, over the years and coach our candidates over the years to, to really exercise that part of your brain to talk about your uh, previous, uh, previous experience. Uh, think about different situations in your experience that allowed you to grow. Uh, and growth comes from challenges a lot of times. Uh, and that's what people are almost looking for, is what did you learn from your previous experience that is going to cause success in your future? Uh, and it could be questions that, um, you know, it could be as an example, when was a, a situation that you maybe disagreed with a member of your team and how did the communications make you feel? And then taking that to another level, how did that disagreement, um, you know, what, what came out of that disagreement, right? So making you kind of think of it in, in a positive framework and a constructive framework to come up with a solution is what your prospective employer is going to be uh, looking for. So uh, some of the questions or behavioral questions that you may want to prepare yourself for is maybe uh, describing a scenario where you had to, to persuade uh, a team member or a group uh, to, for a positive change where you thought you can increase efficiency, as an example. Or um, tell us about your last disagreement with your direct manager. Again, trying to uncover how constructively you came out of that. Uh, describe a situation uh, where you had to uh, think outside of the box to come up with a, a solution uh, and you were extremely uncomfortable in that situation. Uh, maybe uh, when was the last time you had to um, interact with um, a disgruntled customer and how did you turn that around? Uh, so it's, it's kind of the when, uh, the how, uh, the actions that you've taken. Uh, it's not going to be a, a yes or no. It's, a lot of it is going to be open-ended questions that are going to make you think about those situations in history, again, to see how you can deliver those answers. Yeah. And at the end, uh, what question they should ask uh, if, uh, for the interviewer? I think from um, from an interviewer perspective, um, I, I think you want to get into a situation where you're you're understanding. Once you kind of got to the in person interview, you wanna you wanna talk about uh, the day to day um, uh, responsibilities and expectations. And going back to what I discussed about what the most difficult thing or challenge will be in the first ninety days, uh, I would say what are specific milestones that my uh, performance is going to be measured by. Uh, what are uh, some of the career paths that we have within the organization uh, if advancement is important to me? Um, can you describe uh, the nature uh, or the culture of the division itself versus the company culture uh, as well? Uh, maybe speak to um, the collab collaboration piece. Uh, how, how does your team uh, collaborate? Or how does your team uh, support creativity for your employees? So that will make the, an employer kind of think outside of mm -hmm. just what are the responsibilities, what are my expectations? Because I think that you have to really ensure that uh, 
the time that you spend, the resource that are spent, um, the amount of time that you're going to be spending, you know, eight to 10 hours a, uh, a day with a prospective employer, it's a tremendous resource. And you want to make sure that this is uh, just as much as a fit for you uh, as you are for, for them. So treat that interview as a two way street versus them just bombarding you with questions. And then uh, you just being agreeable to the situation because you need a job, right? Yeah. Uh, you gotta be, uh, you gotta ensure they, you know, you, you put value to your skill set and abilities and feel that uh, they can offer you just as much as you can offer them. Yeah, I totally agree. It's a two-way communication. You should be comfortable. You should love the job because you're spending much, most of your time there and your colleagues and ask questions that matter to you. Maybe mm -hmm. some people, salary is important and they will ask salary. Maybe other people, creativity or flexibility is important and they will yeah. ask those questions. So ask questions uh, that are important to you. And again, thank you, Mike, for those tips. Uh, for the audience, again, if you have any other tips that you feel that you gained or you have heard that are grateful, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in tomorrow for my final question with Mike.